join me along as we'll be making this Ankara scrap inspired sweater. First, I'm tidying up my pattern. I'm just joining the curves and I'll be cutting them out. If you want to know how I went about the drafting, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to film. Materials required include lining, one yard, poly fabric or jersey fabric, some elastic for binding. Please check the screen, the measurements will be displayed and know that the 6 inches part is the vertical part well your measurement the sleeves the hip banding and the deck will be measured horizontally and the start of this project which is the patchwork before we proceed we'll be learning how to make these patches so for the background piece i i used some poly fabrics i had some time ago I used different colors so you can use any leftover fabric you have provided. It is enough for the projects. My pattern, which is 6 inches by 6 inches, and I've cut. Then for the side, since we need to add seam allowance, I'm cutting another piece 6 inches by 8 inches. And this time around, I'm not using the pattern, I'm just measuring directly on the fabric. So, whatever method you use, provided it's accurate, you still have a good result. I'm going to continue cutting until I have 16 pieces. 6 6 by 6 inches and 6 6 by 8 inches so you are going to decide the width you want to use before you start this project i have some scrap fabric here and that's what we'll be using to sew on our made fabric patch as you can see i'm just sorting and i discovered this big fabric which will be serving as our center piece I'm just cutting it into random shapes but making sure they are straight at the size they are being cut. I've gotten a lot of them and will proceed to the next stage. On the sewing machine, try to place it at the center of your fabric. Then look for another scrap fabric that will match it and proceed to sew on your fabric. Once you are done, cut out the thread and lay the fabric back. Pick another piece. Most times I like working backwards. I try to check if the patch will fit in the space or how much space do I need before I sew on the fabric. I hope we'll get to understand as we. Once you are done, you, you can iron a stitch or you finger press. If you are not going to be ironing, you need to be very, very careful to stretch out the fabric so that you don't have fold or bumps on your project. I'm sewing another piece on it, just like I did for the other. When I'm done sewing, I'll flip it back and finger press. As you can see, there's a little space there, so I'll just look for a fabric to cover that up. The fabric was too short, so one tip you can use for your smaller pieces is to join them together before sewing on the fabric. Once you are done, just, co just continue as always until you are able to cover the background fabric with the Ankara pieces. When you are done covering the fabric, just trim the edges to match the width of the patchwork so you have a neat finish. I'm doing same for the 6 by 8 inches fabric. You are going to repeat this step for all for all of your fabric patches once you are done take it to your ironing board iron it well once you are done ironing sew round the fabric to secure 
it's optional if you'll be able to control the edges once i'm done i'm arranging the fabric to check i love the position it is can i swap or just arrange it in my own way when you're done with the arrangement start by picking two pieces and sewing them together once you are done sewing the two pieces join with the other two to form a row and sew these rows together to form a longer piece when you are sewing just make sure to align the fabric very well so that you have it it's finished once you are done you have to iron and I'm just folding the fabric into two before placing my pattern piece and I'll be cutting out using two inches seam allowance at the side then half inch at the chest, shoulder and neckline. Please be careful and take your time as the fabric appears a bit slippery at this point once you are done cutting we are going to be measuring our neck width and neck depth I'm using a neck width of 4.5 inches and a neck depth of 4 inches I'm connecting it with my French rule and I'm going to be cutting it out. I'm going to use this pattern to cut out the back piece. When you are cutting the back piece, do not cut the neckline as a difference. Use a neck width of four and a half inches by one to one and a half inch. Depth. I'm just cutting around the fabric and when I'm done, I'm measuring and cutting out of my fabric. I'm also using this front piece to cut out the lining. I'm cutting this lining out so as to cover up the seams and give it a beautiful look and a smooth skin experience I'm done cutting and I'm going to adjust on the front piece I'm also tracing out my sleeve now my pattern wasn't long enough so I had to improvise again the sides are using two inches seam allowance and at the sleeve cap I'll be adding half inch. I've placed my pattern and I'm going to be cutting around the fabric. Once I'm done, I'm marking 3 inches in at the hem of the sleeve so that I'll have a more fitting wrist. Once I'm done, I'm going to launch. to the sewing machine I start first by sewing the lining on my front fabric once I'm done I'm going to place the back pin down and sew I'm done sewing and at this point I'll be attaching the crew neck to my neckline I'll start first by measuring the front neck with a recording I'll do that 
there for the back and I'm going to subtract each of the measurements by one for instance if the front deck was 13 I'm going to subtract one and cut out 12 and same for the back I'll join these two pieces together remember they are 3 inches wide I'm just subtracting that since the material is elastic while well, so you I'll stretch it out to fit perfectly once I'm done it's a matter of adding this part down and sewing on the sewing machine I'm done with that and next up is adding the sleeves I've dodged the center of my sleeve already and I've placed it to the center of my main bodies and I'm pinning it down before sewing I'm done sewing the sleeve and this is what it looks like I'm going to join the sleeves at the side using the two inch seam allowance I had left Once I'm done sewing, it's time to add the sleeve band to the hem of the sleeve. It has been sewn already vertically, so I'm going to fold it into two and bead on the fabric before sewing. Please watch carefully. The band for the sleeve should also be stretched while sewing. So that it will hold perfectly at the wrist. The same procedure goes for the hem. We are going to sew vertically. And once you are done, fold over, pin on the fabric, and sew stretch while sewing so I'm done sewing and my sister is ready 